So depending on what you read and, and who you believe, it's either crickets when it comes to Russell Wilson and a potential trade out of Seattle to either the Bears or maybe the Raiders. I mean, Cowboys are out. Saints don't seem likely. It seemed like they've moved on that we just finished talking about whether it's Jameis Winston or Taysom Hill. They got plenty of cap issues. Uh, Major cap. It doesn't problem. feel like the Raiders are, doesn't feel like, well, they've done a good job of being creative with the cap to get under it. Uh, doesn't feel like the Raiders are, are being super aggressive about this. So it's almost like this is more what, what Wilson wants versus what's actually realistic. But I was going to say, depending on what you read, either there's crickets or the Seahawks are listening, though not actively shopping uh, Russell Wilson, which six one way, half a dozen the other, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I mean, that, mean, that means they would trade him if the right deal came along. Um, speaking of deals, before we go into Russell Wilson, um, yeah. and maybe even Deshaun Watson, uh, some, some outstanding business, there's a couple of things I wanted to point out. Uh, this came from Warren Sharp, Sharp Football. Patriots have spent $146 million today, so far this offseason, as in today. Belichick and the Patriots spent less than $400 million combined in the last 10 years in free agency. So that's just, you know, that just goes to show you just how out of character the spending spree is uh, for the New England Patriots. Um, anyway. They needed to, though. They so, to. yes. Yes. And we can come back to that. Real, real, but, talent, real talent deficit in some areas. Mm-hmm. So... And then we have some, so going back to Russell Wilson, and I guess I just, for purposes of this conversation, or maybe you don't, I think the focus needs to be on the Bears. If, if a trade is going yeah. to happen, it seems like it's going yeah. to be the Bears. Unless, unless Russ opens up this list and, and is more open to other teams, but I feel like the carousel is moving, whether uh, it's the drafts coming up or whether it's other teams either loving the one that they're with. Uh, shout out to the Eisner brothers. Um, or, you know, pursuing other veteran options. Or just being scared away by the presumed price tag for Russell Wilson. It feels like the only team where there's still some smoke is the Bears. I know Jeremy Fowler has some stuff to say uh, on ESPN the other day that Chicago is desperate to try to finally once and for all, since Sid Luckman. What I was gonna say, what was the name you mentioned the other day? Was it Sid Luckman? You said Sid Luckman the other day. Had a quarterback Sid Luckman. I mean, you know, apologies to Jim McMahon, but he, you know, he was he was a character, but he was more character than quarterback. Rex so Grossman. Respect. Um, yeah. So. Um, uh, by the way. By the way, real quick. Uh, Twenty yeah, no, second timeout on this. Twenty second timeout. No, take it away. I was just I was gonna pass it to you anyway. No, no, no. It's just, I want to say this, uh, Gary and Courtney, if you can find, talk to Matt Casey, Matt Casey, you remember this? I don't know if you ever saw it, Mike. Matt Casey cut, uh, put together this montage. It was like six minutes of all the quarterbacks who have thrown passes for the Chicago Bears since, I don't know, 2000. It was amazing. <laughs> since 2000? It was amazing. It was six minutes? One pass and, and, each? And, and, I don't know if it was since 2000. <laughs> there were so many. Yeah. There were so many quarterbacks. Yeah. Like, guys, you just totally forgot. Like, Henry yeah. Burris and Cade McNown and Jim Miller. I mean, just so many guys that you just forgot yeah. about. Like, yeah. oh, my goodness. I understand. This is, this is uh, you mentioned, you mentioned your, your grandfather uh, earlier. I'm sure your grandfather gave great sermons. And I'm sure he gave a sermon on generational curses and how you got to break a generational curse <laughs> and at oh, some got point in Chicago all right the Chicago Bears yeah. Ryan Pace is saying okay that's enough that's enough that's enough you know we got to get a quarter no so we we just finished talking about Drew Brees who has five five thousand yard seasons to his credit no other NFL quarterback has more than one do you know 
that the Bears have never so much as had a 4,000 yard passer in their history? In a passing league, too. They have never had a 4,000 yard passer. Um, so, I, listen, they got, they got, they did some restructuring to get some cap space. I know they converted some salary and a bonus and prorated. They did their, you know, their, their cap thing they get paid to do. They have what the 20th pick, I want to say it is. I, I don't, they don't seem to have what it would take to get Russell Wilson. But I don't know. If I'm the Bears, depends on what you, I, I think they do, well, though. It depends on what the alternatives are. It, well, it's two things. It, one, it depends on how serious Seattle is about moving him. Two, right. it depends on what other deals Seattle has to compare it to. They can give up their own first round picks. Maybe they give up Khalil Mack, which would really hurt. But Michael, if Russell Wilson wants Chicago, we talked about Drew Brees choosing New Orleans. If Russell Wilson wants Chicago because he's intrigued by Matt Nagy and, and he likes the city, if Russell, if a quarterback wants the Bears, if you're the Bears, you got to be hungry enough to pretty much give them whatever they want to get him. I think they are. They have not been able to figure it out on their own. The Bears cannot figure. They can't draft quarterbacks. The Bears do not know how to draft right. quarterbacks, draft and develop quarterbacks. You got to take what somebody else has already done. They never and have. If he wants to be there. You got to pr practically give him anybody on the roster. And I, and I love Khalil amazing. Mack. Isn't that amazing, though? I give him whatever they Mike, want. Mike, that an organization has never gotten it right. They, they, they haven't gotten it right. And got it right. Not even if, not, just accidentally. Yeah, 50, I mean, 60 the years. Cow the Cowboys accidentally got Tony Romo. They accidentally got yeah, Dak Prescott in the fourth round, and they, Dak, who they right. didn't want. They settled for Dak Prescott. Right. The right. Patriots got 199 right in 2000. <laughs> I mean, it, eventually you fall. A blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. A broken clock is right twice a day. The Bears <laughs> cannot get this position right. They can't. To save their lives or, as the case may be, their jobs. I would say this because, yeah, they had the number. They trade up to number two in a draft that included Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes. So we got Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson in a draft. You got your pick of them and you take Mitchell Trubisky and you trade you take up the to wrong him. one. It's like, hey, you door number up. one, two or three. <laughs> they take, they take wow. the wrong door. <laughs> the wrong one all the time. Hey, thanks for watching Brother From Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.